Now I've just add, just quickly added a um, another video onto this one I've just made. I um, had to stop the recording just to adjust the exposure. And I just wanted to show you the difference between the, the video before and the video now. I appreciate this is much darker, but can you see on these two balls here? You can actually now see the uh, the texture of the surface and see much more clearly where that has not bonded correctly um, to the uh, to the IC. Whereas the others, you can see they were just they've just become molten and pulled off and left a you know a funny shaped ball. But that one there, that one there. Clearly, some issue, and they've separated from the ball at some point. Uh, let me see if I can find some more. Yeah, there we go. The, uh, the one there. Oops, there we go. And the one next to it clearly look different to the ones around. I don't know whether this happens because the, the chip gets uh, hot and then the pad oxidizes and it just doesn't form a good bond on those balls. But uh, yeah, you can see. Now, I don't know whether you can see the cursor on the screen that I'm filming. Yeah, right there, the two there. And if we just scroll across and down, yeah, all the others look pretty, pretty good. Yeah, no issues, issues at all. Obviously, it's just those two um, here. One there, one there, and. Possibly the start of one going just in there. So yeah, I just thought I'd add this video on to the other one. I've just adjusted the exposure. Appreciate it's you know, a bit too dark now, but I just wanted you to be able to see the texture of the top of those balls there, which is very clear in the, through the viewer, but not so clear when it's uh, when the camera picture is a little bit overexposed. So yeah, there you go. I'll uh, catch you later.